Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to the epic octopus song uh, by Skybreak and Danny Demand. Uh, interesting, I don't know what exactly this track is, I've just seen it from the album art and there's tons of memes about it, but this seems to be a, uh, a bit of a meme -y track uh, to my understanding, and so I'm intrigued, my guess is it's some sort of color bass, melodic bass tune, um, it's new Skyrack on Monster Cat, I love that, but uh, yeah, I... I I, I have weird expectations for this in some capacity. I just, I don't know how meme this is going to be, but uh, I guess there's only one way to find out, and that is to actually listen. So uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. Uh, this is the first listen and reaction to the epic octopus song. Uh, here we go. Got that kind of color based style to start. The Epic Octopus Song. Baseline focus on the track. Wow, okay, this is very fascinating. This is just a very interesting style and tone that I did not expect, really. That's some heat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> what was that last sound? <laughs> I, what is that? I know that sound. That is some, that is a sound from, is it like a vine or I, I, I am just imagining the, the turtles, the like turtle vine of the, but I cannot remember what that final sound is. Oh, that's going to bug me. Okay. I, I can't, I can't bother to look at it now, but, um, <laughs> that was just the strangest ending to it, but I loved it. Um, okay. 
track absolute fire uh this was a this is a fascinating one because it is it, it is yes very like color basey but it's it's very different than the standard color base that you're going to hear nowadays um or at least what we had heard in the last little bit especially from skybreak so i don't know much of danny demand i don't know their style i don't know their production um i mainly know skybreak and so uh this was i found at least to be a lot more of a baseline focused track where there's i wouldn't say even say baseline but just a lower registered focus track where uh color base is very bright and airy and has lots of like little uh sparkly synth tones and stuff like that where this one was was very it stayed a lot more in that lower range and just was more of like a boom 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 kind of sound to it I, and, and I really like that I, I like that kind of mix up of style where it, it's I expected it and we did get a lot of those like kind of night nice chimey bright uh, styles of, of synth licks and runs, but um, it was it was predominantly more focused on that low end, which is a, a style of color base that I I really feel like isn't it has been tapped a ton, uh, not as much as maybe it, it has been on this track. So uh, th that was fascinating. I, I did enjoy that. I also really liked that the song really just uh, it it just went the whole time. Like there was there, there's sometimes where this does work, and sometimes where it's a really delicate balance for me, where a song just kind of has not too long of a lead in and not too long of like a bridge in between and not too long of an outro where it's kind of just is the, the the main portions of the songs are just the drops and there and there's no there's not that much lead in and so sometimes it can feel like it's a bit of a cash grab in that sense or more commercial friendly when they kind of get rid of a lot of those longer drawn out intro and outro sections um, but a lot of times I, I do appreciate those longer segments and so uh, when you when you shorten them down a bunch you really have to put a lot more emphasis into those drop sections into those main courses and make them more interesting and make it more than just a standard structure of a track and more of a uh, it's it's not just your your copy paste bread and butter song. You got to do something more with it, and I think the song did that exactly. I think it utilized that uh, that extended movements of those of those drop sections um, without sacrificing the tone or um, yeah, just just atmosphere of the track, uh, albeit with the or with the shorter kind of intro outro bridge sections. And so I thought it did it quite masterfully. I I, I thought those that was a great way to to make a shorter track that also felt like it was longer that i think this that's probably where i'm the the crux of this conversation and, and the real point of what i'm trying to make is that it even though it is a what three minutes and two second track which is relatively i guess medium length nowadays um it, it felt like a bit of a longer track and so i, I appreciate that quite a bit but uh yeah this is a fun one uh half meme half serious half, I don't know what the heck it is, uh, but one that I really enjoyed. It was very, uh, a, a tasteful blend on color base that I hadn't quite heard as fleshed out uh, in maybe on such a large label like Monster Cat has. Um, so yeah, I really liked it. Big fan. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, I'm Dakota from Protype Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.